thanks for checking out our video this is going to be a possible how to test and repair video on an old old Gallagher Bev 2 this is a late 70s mid 80s model they discontinued this and made the um, uh, Bev 3 which is a more compact version looks like the M800s that they used to make the orange case units but we're gonna take a look at this see if we can get it going again the guy sent us uh, about five six units to work on and um, all of them were Gallagher's, all of them were at least uh, 20 years or older. And um, we've gotten three out of the five looked at, and all the other three are done. And we got this one and another old unit from about the same time frame. So if you got a old unit that you've been told can't be fixed, there's no parts available, don't toss it. Don't let the dealer or whoever's working on it toss it. Get it back from them. Send it here to us. Let us take a, take a shot at it because... New units of any brand are really starting to get expensive. And uh, these old ones, even though they're old, can still do a good job if you get, put the right money into them. So let's take the case off the thing. Now this is an earlier version because the later one, this has got this this transformer here. This I believe, um, yeah, it comes in this. This is a 220 volt model after it goes through this transformer. So there's 110 coming. So this is the earlier version. Later ones didn't have this, and they had their own a specific board for 110 volt. But before Gallagher got that straightened out, they made a 220 like 110 220 volt transformer deal. To, so they could run the 220 volt units in the states. But let's plug it in and see what it does. Alright, it's clicking a little fast, kind of faster than what it should be. That's most likely because this capacitor is probably pretty weak. Alright, let's um, snip these wires off the capacitor. Snips to cut We're gonna because I, I don't have these memorized which wire goes where, so I'm gonna just cut them a little long because there's plenty of wire to work with. And so I can leave the insulation or the color of the wire on there so I know which wire goes to which tab sort of thing. Now I'm gonna test this capacitor. This is um, a 30 microfarad. This is one reason why it's probably clicking faster than normal. Pretty big passer physically, but it's a 30 microfarad. All the new ones are about this big versus that as big as it is on this one because um, you know they hadn't passers hadn't kind of caught up yet with electric fence boxes. So, all right, we're gonna test this out. Should be 30. We're reading two, basically. So that's one reason why it's pulsing as fast as it is. It's, this isn't built up to charge high enough, so it's discharging way too quick. So let's um, get this capacitor out of there, and we'll get a new one put in it, and then we can continue on and see what else it might be doing or not doing. The good thing is it's clicking and trying to work, so that's half the battle right there. I don't know what to call them. I call that a double hump capacitor. I always call them. But yeah, this unit's got to be close to 40 plus years old. But this has got a pretty good kick to it. It's about seven, seven, eight stored joule units, probably four or five, give or take, output joule. Here's what the new ones look like. They're a lot smaller in size. It's still still 30 microfarad like the other one was, but it is um, 1200 volt. If it show up, see it's a 30 microfarad 1200 volt. This is uh, 30 microfarad 
thousand volt or four hundred volt, whatever it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right over here, and then I need to strip back the wires on this. And we're going to put um, spade connectors on, all three of them. This wire here, I've got to take a knife and shave it back a little bit. There's like varnish on that wire there. But these ones are just regular wire. All right, looks like white and yellow are tied together. And brown's by itself. And then we'll, we'll get a strap to put over that. All right, let's plug it in. Listen to it click. Even the light in the bottom still flashing. Probably all it needed was just that part right there and this 40 something year old unit went right back to working. So let's um, hook it up here. We're gonna go across fence to ground. See, it's right in that 6,000 volt range. That's right where it should be. And then we'll take a, uh, a uh, plug it for a second. Take a Jumper lead was clamped to there and get real close to the hot terminal. The reason why it's so loud is because the transformer. That's where all the clicking sound comes from is the transformer. This has those metal plates right here. And um, the uh, metal plates, is, that's, part of it is it encased in epoxy inside here, but the other part that's not, it radiates through the metal plates. That's why it's so loud. Some transformers are encased in an epoxy fully encased in epoxy and they're a lot quieter that's because the, the sound can't get through the epoxy so you just get like a muffled sound but it doesn't mean it's strong or weak based on how loud or soft it is this is how these older ones were with the metal plates on there so this work you know, is working fine so let's um we need to get the strap to put this in place let me go find There's one. Let's see if I can find one more strap. There's a black one and a white one. 
or do something else too. Let's get a piece of foam, just a little extra assurance, I guess, just to stay in place. We'll put that on the bottom side of it. Put that right there. They had one strap holding theirs, but we'll put two of them in there since we've got the slots for two of them right there. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hey, you got, another, you got any more of the big straps? Cable ties. Yeah, the, the long, long, big long ones. Okay. We'll grab another strap. Thinner. Okay, plug in and make sure it still works. old and crusty that's why Let's... That, that one goes all the way on but this one's not want to go all the way on so that could create a, a, a gap of some sort threads a little bit with that oil stuff we got.
Now we can get, they can get tightened up all the way. to keep the little muscle of it going on and back into the things easier but they work real good on stuff like this too all right well this one's basically done we put the screws back in the bottom of it to hold it together but a oh, 40 something year old unit go right back out in the farm and start working again so hopefully you like this kind of stuff and let's plug this in and see how loud it is with the case on it now still pretty loud but it's a working so if you got an old unit send it in on send it on in here let's take a look at it for you Fencerfixer.com is our website, and CattleSkillRepair.com is our other website for working on cattle skills and little bars.